Good day to everyone watching. This will be quite a detailed tutorial on the steps we do when proceeding with CAD works for the Lantawan workshop. First and foremost, let us double check that we have the correct file or files for drawings that are assigned to us. For the sake of this tutorial, we will be using project files from Asia Premiere found in the second issue of Lantawan Magazine 2022. Make sure to also have a copy of the Lantawan Standards Guide. Now we will proceed with Section 1, Getting Ready for CAD. First, open up your AutoCAD program. Make sure that the template selected is acadiso.dwt. To double check, click on the blank space and type the command UN, which stands for units, then space bar to initiate the command. In the pop-up, check that the unit selected is in millimeters. Note that this is very important in the scaling process. If the file received is in PDF format, redrawing will not be necessary, but editing or cleaning of the drawings may be needed. This will be covered in the next section. If, however, the file received is in JPEG or PNG format, we as CAD operators will have to be redrawing the projects from scratch. This process will be covered now. When redrawing a project, First, head to the Insert tab. Click Attach and look for the PNG file and select Open. Here, click OK. Then select anywhere to place the file. After attaching, highlight the picture and adjust weight to 50%. To scale the image, look for a dimension line. Then type L which is a command for line. Then press Space to initiate. Create the line following the dimension line for now. Next. Highlight both the picture and the new dimension line. Type SC which is the command for scale, then press space to initiate. Now, the program will ask you for the base point. This can be either end of the dimension line. Type the letter R then space to reference. This time, click both ends of the dimension line. After which, input the true value of the dimension line. In this case, it is 4992. Next, head to the Home tab, select Layer Properties, add a new layer, and rename that layer to Lines. To start the drawing, type the command L, then press Space to create the line. Trace the walls, doors, and everything else deemed necessary. Here are the commonly used commands for AutoCAD. Your end work should look somewhat like this. That should be it for a drawing. Head to section 3 for the next step. For PDF files, head to the Insert tab. Look for the button named PDF Import. Look for the PDF you need. Then click Open. Here, click OK. AutoCAD will automatically place it for you near the origin. To scale the PDF, look for a dimension line. Next, highlight the entire drawing. Type SC which is a command for scale. Then press Space to initiate. Now the program will ask you for the base point. This can be either end of the dimension lines. Type R, then Space to reference. This time, Click both ends of the dimension line, after which input the true value of the dimension line. In this case, it is 5167. This next part will be quite a different process from a drawing. Oftentimes, PDF files will come with drawing layers. You can check this in the Home tab, then Layer Properties. Here you will be given a visual on all the layers present in the file. You can click this bulb icon to turn the layer on or off and determine whether a layer is necessary or not. As an example, since we don't need furniture lines in Lantown drawings, you can turn this furniture layer on and off and check if it should be deleted. Once you have decided which layers to delete, right click on the drawing space, click quick select, object type set to multiple, and properties set to layer. In the drop-down menu for value, select the layer you wish to delete. 
then click OK. The lines from that layer should be highlighted, then press delete on your keyboard. Note, there are times when there are both necessary and unnecessary lines found in a single layer. For cases like this, you need to manually delete the unnecessary lines to clean up the project. Here are the commonly used commands for AutoCAD. Your end work should look somewhat like this. And that should be it for PDF files. Head to section 3 for the next step. Now we will be getting ready to transfer from AutoCAD to Illustrator. To save your CAD drawings, whether drawn or PDF, click on the AutoCAD icon on the top left of the program. Select Save As, then Drawing. Here, input the file name you want, then in the drop down for file type, select AutoCAD 2013. This ensures that your CAD drawing can be imported into Illustrator without any issues, then hit save. You may now exit AutoCAD. Now, open your Adobe Illustrator program. When it loads, on the left side, click create and select custom. Here, we will temporarily set the unit to inches, then input width as 9 inches wide and 12 inches tall. Then return the units to millimeters. Set color mode to RGB color. Raster effects to 300 pixels per inch. Then finally, click create. To import your drawing, you can simply drag and drop the CAD file to Illustrator. Then a pop-up will appear. This is where we will be rescaling the drawing to fit the drawing page. In Lantawan, scales are usually done in the hundreds, so 100, 200, 300, and so on. But there are also times where it is done in the 50s, so 150, 250, 350, and so on. It is upon your discretion to determine which scale will fit perfectly into the drawing page. Let's see this example. First, we will try a scale of 1000. So here, click scale by 100%. Below that, in the box for scale value, type 1000, then click OK. You will see that the scale of 1000 is too small for this drawing. Let us try a larger scale, maybe 500. Nope, maybe 300. Still not. But here you will notice that while it is still quite small, but the jump of 100 in scale would change the size far too much. Let's try to 50. Now that looks right. Now select the entire drawing, right click, then select ungroup. Now copy the imported drawing to your main project page. It is also a good practice to rename the layer to the project name as well as its scale just in case you forget. In this section, we will be getting our drawing ready for the Lantawan magazine. First, let's get our line weights right. Select the entire drawing, change the stroke color to black and the stroke width to 0.1, the thinnest thickness standard for Lantawan. For this scale, you will observe that there are somewhat too many lines in the drawing. Once printed, the viewers will only see gray smudges instead of clean lines. An example would be these railings near the swimming pool. Another would be these lines for windows. Let's delete some lines to simplify how they are displayed. Doors should also be simplified into single lines. We will need to clean such areas up. To select specific lines, Press A to activate the Direct Selection tool. You will now be able to delete a single line despite them being polylines. Note that this is also possible to do during the CAD phase, but I prefer to do this in AI just to see how large the drawing is and whether or not they are necessary to remove. Once satisfied, lock the layer. Now we'll be proceeding with putting colors onto our drawings. For now, 
go ahead and open your Lantaun Standards Guide. This will serve as our basis as we proceed with the colors. Now go back to the main project to start. We will be using this section here for the purposes of this tutorial. In the Layers panel, create a new layer, name them Columns, and select that layer. The next thing to do is to locate the columns. Double checking the Lantawan standards, columns are supposed to be filled in black. To do this, simply press M to initiate the command for rectangle. Change the fill color to black and change the stroke to none. Now continue filling in the columns. Once satisfied, lock this layer. The next step would be to do the walls. Create a new layer named Walls. Make sure it is layered below the columns. Double check with the Lantawan standards and see that it is using a warm gray color. What you can do is copy the color legend from the Lantawan standards and paste it on the wall layer. Select the pasted color legend then press M to make rectangles similar to the color legend. Just like the columns, locate the walls and start filling them in. It will not matter if they overlap or not. For irregularly shaped walls, you can select a rectangle, hit A for direct selection, which allows you to change the shape by dragging the edges or points. To add more points to the shape, press P, then place the cursor on top of a line, then select where you want the point added. To remove a point, press P, then place the cursor on top of a point instead. An additional step you can do is to select the rightmost button on the wall layer to select all objects on the layer and click this icon to unite them into a single object. This makes editing them in the future easier. Now continue filling in the walls. Once satisfied, lock this layer. For zoning, we again have to refer to Lantawan standards. For the sake of this example, we will be using utilities. Again, the first step here would be to create a layer under the walls layer named utilities. Similar to the walls, copy the color legend for utilities from the Lantawan standards and paste them to the desired layer. Select the pasted color legend, then press M to make rectangles similar to the color legend. Do the same thing as filling in the walls. There is an additional step for zoning aside from uniting all the rectangles. All colors for zonings are to be set to 60% opacity. Now continue filling in the zone. Once satisfied, lock this layer. Do the same for the rest of the zones such as common rooms, hallways, stairs, and so on. And you should end up with something like this. Now we're ready to head to the next section. This phase can be considered the easiest or the least taxing part of the Landawan workshop. First is to create a new layer named Titles and Legends. Place it on top of everything else. This is to make sure that title, number, and color legends will not be under any other drawing. Now all you have to do is to copy from the Landawan standards an existing template. Replace the name with the name of the project, then replace the bar scale with the proper scale depending on your imported scale. After which, the next thing to do would be to find and copy from the Lantawan Standards Number Legend and Color Legend template. Add or remove items from the legend depending on your project. The final step would be to add numbers in the drawing corresponding to your number legend.
Your end work should look somewhat like this. Then, you should be good to go. With that, you have reached the end of this tutorial. Thank you for sitting through the entire video. I really hope it helps. Best of luck with you with the next Lantawan workshop.